Hey, party people. Good morning, Krusty Crew. We are here in Billund, Denmark at Lego House. We are having the best time ever. This is a hosted stay with Lego, and we are loving every second of it. Today, we've been seeing a lot of what Lego House has to offer, and there'll be a whole other video on that. But now we're gonna check out their giant Lego store here, where they have a lot of Lego House exclusives. And I've had my eye on the Lego House duck ever since I knew it existed. So I definitely wanna buy that while I'm here. And I believe Stuart, the designer of it, is going to be here at some point to do some signings, which I am really excited about. So let's go check it out and find my duck and probably some other stuff too. They have so much exclusive stuff here. Are you excited, Ross? I am very excited. For the first time ever, we're seeing these new uh, scan codes. So this uh, tells you what's in them? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I'll let you scan through to find some All that right. we don't have already, but they do have a lot of mini things in stock. I just really want the goat. We're so close. But then up against the wall here, there's like a goat chariot. This is really fun and a jester type royal man. In the stars, it looks like there's like planets uh, yeah. behind him. Would you like to have some free liquor? Uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we had a little make and take event here. Oh, we have oh, so much more in stock. Soon. Oh, cool. Yeah. Thank Whoa, you so cool. much. <laughs> Thank you. you get everything here. You get both the main character, so you get the star, and you get a prince. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. oh, free. You can just have these? Sure. Oh, oh thank, thank you. you. <laughs> well, if you're searching for the mint you have maybe already figured out you can use an app. I, yeah, yeah, I'm using that Perfect. right now. Oh, thank you. That's no so helpful. No worries. Wow. And you can use the apps. Well, that's, that's yeah, that makes it okay. But then down here, they have the mosaic. Mosaic maker. I feel like it'd be really fun to make one of Ladybird and like hang it up in our house somewhere. I think that'd be really cute. But down here they have the Lego architecture Lego house set. Normally when I go to Lego stores, I kind of know what they're gonna have. I mean, I guess I kind of knew they would have this here, but I've never seen it on shelves because I've never been to Lego house. So this is super exciting. I'm still not sure about the Danish kroner to US dollar conversion, but I'll just look that up later. And I'm thinking about getting this set today because I'm here. Plus I have a lot more appreciation for it now that, you know, I've actually seen the building in person. So I'm probably gonna come back to that one. Over here, they have lots of Lego icon sets. Now with the Polaroid camera, something really cool about this is that it does come with a Polaroid of Lego house. So I need to take a picture later. I actually brought the Polaroid with me from Texas. I just figured, when am I ever gonna get the chance again to take a picture of this in front of Lego house? You know, I thought that'd be really cool. <laughs> the modular and the dog stole the bone. That's one of my favorite things about this set. And then over here, the brand new Lego Ideas Orient Express. It's actually so cool displayed like this. I never thought of I don't know, mounting it on this tri-level thing. It's actually so cool. This is a little train station down here with some luggage. I love how they designed this and showing all the minifigures like that makes it look really nice. I gotta get a box of boys Yeah. all the way from Denmark, right? I guess you gotta do it. Wow, and then that mural actually continues this way. It looks like a man and wife or a very fashionable couple up there. There's this giant deer. This person holding Something. I don't know what she's holding. And it looks like some soccer players, a soccer ball. This person in a chair about to fall over with a camera crew for the Viking ship. There's a lot of stories going on up here. I love how it's like a 3D kind of build too. It sticks out of the wall, but then also there's seagulls kind of as part of the mural for it. And then over here, they have a whole Speed Champions section and they're all displayed really cool at this angle here. I love how they're displaying everything in this Lego house Lego store. It's really creative. Lots of Technic sets as well. I'm gonna pass on these, but it is really exciting seeing how the Technic sets are also displayed here. There's like birds in the sky, the Technic, and then what is this, corn? I don't, I don't even know, there's like a bird in it. So that's exciting, but then also this tractor over here has a cat in it, so I hope that cat's okay. Now over here where all the flowers are, they did not disappoint. They have the little succulents and like the tiny plants on display here, the roses and all the new flower sets, but then up here it's like a full-on dinner place setting with red bricks for, you know, wine, and then a little holder thing for the silverware with a flower on it. This is really cute, like honestly, Lego dinner party inspiration right here with, of course, a big flower bouquet in the middle. Over here, they have a really cute Disney display with the brand new Rapunzel's Tower, or I think, yeah, that's that's definitely the new one. I love how they did the path and then like the greenery down here where they just kind of put pieces along it kind of loose. They're not actually like placed on anything, but I think that looks really nice. It's just a really interesting texture that they used here. And then here they have a giant Disney wall with all of the new sets and then kind of like the more adult sets down towards this end. Ross just pointed out the pick a brick wall. Check this out. They have tons of these dark trans blue tiles that we definitely need to stock up on for the ocean in our Lego city. It's gonna be so much easier traveling with these boxes instead of those cups. I'm so glad the cups are gone. <laughs> yeah, the cups are annoying to travel with. But looking at the piece selection, they have these like candelabra kind of pieces. They have the basic like one by two bricks, rocket ship 
bottoms, some fire. Ooh, they have lots of burps in stock. That's cool. Or lerps. I don't know which one it is. Lavender flowers, yellow bricks. I'm just gonna pan over this because they are stocked with so many good pieces right now. I think all we really need from what I'm seeing here are those dark blue transparent tiles. So I guess that's kind of nice. Ooh. Oh, never mind. I thought those were hearts for a second. I was really excited. You're doing a good job. Yeah, I mean, I could probably like really go and like layer each thing in there, but we're kind of short on time. So we're just gonna go with this for now. Yeah, I think you did a good enough job. <laughs> oh, wow. They even have white masonry bricks. I don't know if Ross saw these oh, earlier. No, see that's exciting. That's pretty cool. Ross is stocking up on some of those as well. Thank you, Ross. They even have a few more pieces over here, which is kind of neat. Normally it's all just in one spot, but oh, wow. Wait, never mind. There's like a whole other wall. I did not realized this before. I'm overwhelmed, y'all. This is so cool. Oh, they have the red hearts. That's fun. I like those. Ooh, and a normal like gray masonry. We have a lot at home. We're kind of running out a little bit. They have these nougaty masonry bricks. This is actually kind of wild. They have so much. And then look at these, these little like dark blue transparent cheese slopes. That'd be kind of fun for the ocean to add more texture. And then some other interesting ones are the ladders over here. They also have the lavender masonry bricks, one by fours, and then some spider webs. So those are always kind of fun to find. Whoa, even these, look at that. One by two transparent, I guess, light blue brick. I'm sure I could use these for the ocean somehow, but I think we're kind of limited on space. I don't know, we might actually fill up a box with these because they're pretty cool. So we actually saw Aaron earlier. He's a Lego designer. He was on Lego Masters season one, I think, but we just like ran into him because I guess that's how things happen in Billund. <laughs> and he designed the set and he signed it. He signed like a bunch of them here. So I'm thinking about buying this because it's a signed set. By Aaron, what do you think? I actually got a picture with him uh, holding this set signed. So yeah, I was thinking about getting that one as well. I don't think I'm gonna open it though. No, I don't think we should. <laughs> yeah, if we ever wanna build it, just buy a different one. Thanks Aaron. <laughs> yeah, seriously though, all of the three in one sets have been incredible lately. I love the roller skate. We actually bought two because Ross built one and I was like, well, I wanna build it. So we got a second one. We have the Peacock. We haven't built it yet because we've been traveling. And then the ukulele is really fun too. I like the different builds too. They're kind of cool. Ross told me to come check out the Minecraft here, of course, that's like Ross his favorite thing right now so it is actually really cool how they display the sets here i just love like how creative they are i mean you know they just kind of like put bricks down here but i love that texture it looks so cool and then the little turtle ross loves turtles ross already has that actually so we won't be picking that up today and then over here this lego city display is so cool too i have so much inspiration now from being here and like seeing lego house on how i want to make my lego city just seeing all the different textures and kind of techniques they're doing it's all kind of simple you know just like laying these dots and different bricks down to kind of create this texture but i just think it looks really nice i feel like the coolest thing to see here are the exclusives as well as all the different displays they have because this one i don't think that there's anything like an official lego set in here it's mostly just pieces but they've done such a good job with it it actually looks like mostly pick a brick pieces right and there's so many minifigs here the sign's actually saying that all of the minifig parts are from their build a minifig station i love this like country singer girl i think she looks really cool there's just a lot of really neat things to see here and i especially love this little outdoor barbecue area with all the little chefs there it's so cute okay now finally i am so excited y'all do you see that on the ground over there that bottom shelf they have the duck Quack. they have the duck i'm so Quack. excited i'm gonna get my duck i've been wanting this duck for years literal years you're gonna get two <laughs> yeah it's the duck yeah it is the duck it's and like... we can actually get it signed tomorrow by the designer so that's so cool <laughs> I need to show y'all all of this though, because this is just the coolest thing. Okay, so duck. We're starting with the duck. This is, I guess, the first ever LEGO House limited edition kind of exclusive. It is the wooden duck, the toy before LEGO bricks were invented, I guess. Super cool. I want, I want this duck. We're buying some. I have this already, actually. Otherwise, I'd probably be buying it. I love these like buildable minifigs. Like, I guess minifigs are buildable, but you know what I mean? Like these giant scale ones. I have this at home and I have not built it yet, but I am so excited to finally build this at some point. Just look at his face printing and then his legs, like such a cool one. And here he is built actually with this really sweet looking display. And I think we're actually going to get a few of these keychains here. It says Lego house, home of the brick on the side to bring home to some of our friends. Just as like a little thinking of you kind of present. They have these minifigs too, which are kind of fun, but I like the bricks. I think these are like a little bit more classic. But then up here, I don't know if I've seen this exhibit yet in Lego House. We kind of did a very quick overview of everything. So I don't actually have the full story here. I guess it's um, a master builder's desk building some of the exhibits here. I wish I knew more about this. I'll probably figure it out later today when we see a little bit more of Lego House. Oh, and here's my duck. 
my duck, y'all. It's my duck. And then this one over here. It actually looks really cool in person. Wow, that's that's actually pretty awesome. Honestly, y'all, there's so much to see at this Lego store. I'm kind of overwhelmed, and I didn't even notice that we missed this whole wall of murals. Let me kind of show you what is up here. We have a Danish flag with a girl in a swimsuit with a shovel. So all of these models here in the Lego house shop is all inspired with Danish inspiration. For example, we have a Grand Danois. We have our national bird, the swan, uh, the bridge connecting Fyn and Zealand. We have a Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale, the oh. chimney sweeper and the shepherdess. We have Vikings, <laughs> but not real Vikings. They have uh, the wrong helmet on, oh. so they are actors for a movie. And we have Thor in wagon. So all of these models here is with Danish inspiration in mind. Wow, that's and amazing. Thank yeah. you. No worries. So yeah, he just gave you a really good overview of everything. I'll kind of show you a little bit more up close if I can. Like this bridge and how the truck is coming out of it is so cool how they did that, like the 3D kind of aspect. The bridge kind of coming down over that white shelf a little bit too. And then the motorized wind turbine, the boat. This is just awesome. Ross and I are still looking at this one. I was kind of on the fence, but no, I kind of want it. We're here, you know what I mean? So I don't even know if I would even build this one. I think, again, this one just looks beautiful in the box like that. Oh, that's so cool. Wow. Oh, that's so cool. I want it. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to grab this because I really, I really want it. <laughs> You can actually see here, here's a picture of the Lego house at the same like yeah. angle. Oh, that's cool. Or almost, it's uh, reversed a little bit. I guess it's more like that, but still. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. Super cool. This one was supposed to be a massive uh, Lego house in the uh, But uh, wow. if you have the, it was taking inspiration of the Harry Potter and Hermione set a couple of years right, ago. Right. And if you have that one, it's the same one with a color swap. Not fun at all. But the first one I actually used to be a big one of this one here, and that's a boring figure, even, yeah. even in, a, in a big one. So we want to make the big pirate, but then we lose the Lego house connection. So this uh, blue piece there is a Lego house wristband. Uh, but the instruction really? doesn't that's, tell a word of it. That's awesome. Like a little blue plate so, yeah. in there? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. But the instruction okay. doesn't tell a word of it. So you may be <laughs> thinking this is just like an instruction call or something like that. <laughs> that's amazing. So he's visiting Lego House. He's, in, he's a guest. Yes, he's exclusive here. Uh, so yes. <laughs> that's amazing. Cool. Thank you. No worries. Yeah. This is so neat, y'all. So it has all the different Lego logos through time along the top there. But something even cooler, maybe, you might disagree. I don't know. Is that my purse? also has all of the Lego logos on it so I match with this wall behind me look at that twins oh wow so this is really neat so they do have a gift with purchase right now a year of the dragon gift with purchases of 640 kroners or more I have no idea what that is I, I don't know and now we're checking out all of our goodies Birthday cake. There you Yay, go. Yay, thank you. Here's our haul. All right. And your total is 3050 Okay. <laughs> Yikes. Not dollars. Yeah, I was like, yeah. uh... <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Dang, <laughs> Ross. Look at yeah, us go. Look at that. That flex. Woo. We need some flex tape oh, yes. today. So here it is. It's Lego day. <laughs> <laughs> you know? You get it? Dang it. Name. You can't be funnier than me in our own Lego vlog. day. Like gotcha. Day. Man, <laughs> you gotta watch out for Tiago. Yeah, He's for funny. Real. We just had dinner at the Gastro Pub in Billund, which is apparently the only pub in Billund. <laughs> it was pretty good. So unfortunately, we ran out of time earlier, so we're doing our hotel haul right now. Hotel haul. Hotel, hotel. hall. Hotel, hotel hall. We spent three thousand something currency. I don't know what it was, but I think it ended up being around four hundred something bucks. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I was so stressed <laughs> hearing three thousand fifty. Three thousand and fifty. I was like, excuse me, <laughs> what? You know, we like to shop, but we've never done that before. All right, let's get into it. Ooh, the Aaron set. We actually got to meet Aaron from Lego Master Season One of America, and he now works as a Lego designer here at. Billin. Looking at Instagram, I saw I posted a story saying, hey, I'm going to be signing sets. Come see me at the Lego house. And I was like, dude, I'm at the Lego house. <laughs> Aunt Bandit and I pretended that we needed to go to the bathroom. We ran down and we just barely caught him before we left. And I was able to get him to sign this giraffe oh, set. He was so sweet too. So if you're watching this, hi, Aaron. It was really great to meet you. We like ran after him like weirdos. Now, since uh, we're in Europe, I had to do it. I had to pick up a box of boys. I was like, I got to get one here. Then I remember that uh, we're actually going to be meeting some of the Lego Star Wars designers soon. So I was like, oh, this will be perfect. So I'm going to have as many of them as possible sign this for me <laughs> tomorrow. I had to get a box of boys, of course. I mean, when in, uh, when in Rome. I got my duck. Y'all, I remember seeing this set like years ago and I was like, that is so cool. I just, I don't know what it is about the duck. I just really like the duck. And on the back of the box here, you can see the wooden duck before Lego used plastic. Like they were just doing kind of like normal toys. 
And then there's the official Lego one. And look at this. This is mine. We bought it. I'm so excited. And then we ended up buying a second one because we both really wanted this set. And we were like, we want one to stock and one to rock. We might get to meet the designer of this set too. So we're going to get both of them signed as well. I'm oh, really, yeah. really excited. We're still going to build one of them and open it. But definitely getting both signed. Okay, yeah. another exclusive set of Lego architecture set. I remember seeing this and I was like, I don't know what this is because this was a few years ago. I had not really heard of Lego House and I was like, this is a pretty building, but I don't really know what it is. <laughs> like, what is this? And it was never something like on my list to buy. You know what I mean? Like I was never like, I need this set. But after being here and like experiencing Lego House and having such cool memories here now and like being here with Ross, I was like, we need to get this. This is so cool. I'm actually not entirely sure if this is a Lego House exclusive or not. Either way, I'm glad that we were able to get we it. We bought it at Lego House. Yeah, isn't that cool? But I just think it's kind of neat how to set lifts up like that so you can see inside. I don't know if we're actually ever going to build this. I kind of want to, but it's also really nice just having it new in box, you know? Apparently we collect that now. Sealed set collection. So now these two little things are super cool and I will tell you why. So we went to the mini chef restaurant where you build your meal. You like put in different bricks to say like which meal you want to have. And a computer looks at it and it's like, okay, I'll give you the pork and potatoes. This is a little set they give you and everyone gets one. You just open it and um, build with it. If somebody else already opened theirs, you could just use theirs. So uh, we were able to keep one for me. Yay. And so that way now we have one sealed yeah. still. So that's really cool. And it says on it, build your meal. It's kind of hard to see. There we go, a little bit easier. And then this one here is the other set that we got at Mini Chef. I think like once you eat your food, they give you this and it is the mini chef. The restaurant is called mini chef and then they give you a mini chef. So that's kind of cool. And then another kind of random Lego house exclusive here. These are free. So if you visit Lego house, you can just grab these on the way out. It's the Lego house bricks. They give you six red bricks in this. So like that's literally all that it is, but it is in paper now. It used to be in plastic. So that's kind of cool. That's brand new. That actually yeah. just started this month. Yeah. That'll be a kind of cool souvenir. So if you visit Lego house, you get that kind of thing on the way out. But also they have the same thing in Duplo. And I was like, that is cool. I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't ever want to open this because it's just kind of neat. But yeah, it's just like six red Duplo bricks. And then the gift with purchase is this little dragon. What is this called? It's just called Year of the Dragon. And I didn't know there was a gift with purchase today. Um, that did not sway our purchase decisions <laughs> at all. We were buying this anyways. We, you know, didn't come for this. But it's a cute little dragon. It kind of looks like the same scale as a brick head, which is kind of fun. Here we got some bricks of Lego. Uh, one of them is going to be one by four dark trans blue tiles. Nailed, Nailed it. it. And then this one should be a whole box of just white masonry bricks we picked up for our friend yeah they had some good pieces here it's really yeah. cool i if i had more time i think i could have got a lot more maybe even double the amount of pieces but i just didn't have time to like lay them off flat our whole shopping experience was like 25 30 minutes <laughs> yeah. max we were like go we get the quick. duck we also got these little keychains they're lego house keychains and this one on it says lego house home of the brick <laughs> there we go so lego house home of the brick and then on the back it says Home of the brick, just like in a cuter font. And we also got this two by four brick keychain where it says Lego house. So I just like that. I'm probably gonna put this on my keychain when I get home. And last but definitely not least, the most important set we got was this uh, this poly bag here. I guess they were doing like a take and build kind of situation. Make and take. So they had extras and they're like, yeah, here you go. So cool. this is pretty cool. Yeah, no, it's a cute little poly bag. <laughs> that employee that you saw was so sweet, by the way. He was so kind and really helpful and like showing us about the murals and everything. He was awesome. So we had a really good time there. The staff was incredible. Is that everything? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's everything, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. This was such a fun little video. I can't believe we got to go shopping at the Lego store in Bill and you know pick up our exclusive sets the duck and all of that so super grateful to be here we landed in billand not yesterday right mm -hmm. we landed in billand yesterday and it was a really long flight today was the first day we still have another full day of events and i can't wait to experience all of that so we will definitely be filming and taking you along with us but we're just so grateful to the lego group for hosting us for this experience and to see the new stuff going on at the lego house so definitely check out that video when it comes out also we'll be heading up to london in a few days for february 1st we'll be at the lang leicester, leicester square leicester square so we'll be at the leicester square lego store February 1st so catch us there if you can. Yeah we'll be there for release day. But yeah that being said y'all we are exhausted and very jet lagged so we're gonna go to bed now. It is only 9 48 but I am dead. Good night everybody. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.